create a layer mask by clicking on this button right here. And I'll go ahead and make this or make these palettes just a little bit larger so you can see them a little bit easier there. And I'll make sure that that layer mask is activated. And then I'll come over here to the toolbar, select the brush, and let's set that foreground color to black. So I'll press the D and X keys on the keyboard to get that to go black. And with the hardness all the way down the brush, I will turn up the master diameter a little bit higher here. Something like this. And I can erase away areas of this zoom blur that I don't want. And we can also lower the opacity of this layer as well. Look at that. Also make sure that our original ocean layer is turned on. So that is visible. There we go. And I can click on this zoom blur layer and start to erase away parts of the image. Now a good practice is to go ahead and click on the thumbnail, activate that on that layer, and then lower the opacity just a touch so we can see the layer below it. And by doing this, we can zoom in a little bit closer and then select the brush, activate that layer mask, lower the brush, and then come in here and erase that blur away, that zoom blur there, and reveal parts of the rocks, just like this. Look at that. And I can move this around. We can come over on this side and I'll increase the size of this brush. We could see what's over here by making that visible. And I can lower the opacity of this just a little bit more. Now we can see these other rocks. And I can just go in here and start to paint over these rocks on this mask. I'll click on that mask one more time to activate it. Because, see, the rocks are not moving. It's just the water. So in order for this effect to look right, we have to mask most of the rocks. I like to leave some of the rocks unmasked so it kind of looks a little bit surreal. That's the whole point of this is that so it looks a little bit kind of futuristic or more like a digital image or something like that, computer generated type image. And let's see what we can do here. I can come over here and erase this away. Now, I could be totally screwing up the image. I wouldn't even know it, but I think I don't think I'm doing too bad here. I think it's looking pretty good, but we're still we still got a few things to do here just yet. So, I'm just getting things done by coming through here. And I like to zoom in so I can see everything really close. And there's a lot of ways to actually do this effect and but hopefully you can take some of these techniques and use them on your images because I know that all when it comes to you know all images are different so not all the things are gonna work on your image that you see on this tutorial but I try to go ahead and just create a variety of different things here and I'm gonna show you some more techniques later on that will work for almost all images this looks good and this doesn't require any type of uh, painting skills or anything like that at all because we can clearly see where to paint uh, we've lowered the opacity so all we have to do is just paint on these rocks or erase the mask and the blur from these rocks And since this is a layer mask, we can always go back and re-add areas that we maybe erased and we didn't want those areas erased. We can always go back and put them right back in. It's really simple to do. All we have to do is paint with white instead of black.
I'm not too crazy about that. I think I might leave that one out. And just get the very top of that rock there. And I'll get the top of this one. This looks like the mist is just rolling over the rocks. Or look, if I just get the top of the rock, then it might look like the rock is in the water. Which it is, but we can make it look like the mist is hovering above the water a little bit. You know, whatever. We just create little things here and do whatever we want. Let me go ahead and just zoom out and take a look at it. Now, obviously we can see that we do have some lines in the twirl, so it kind of gives it away that we use that filter. And to fix that, there's a lot of things we can do to fix that. We can blur it a little bit by using the Gaussian blur. If you want to, if you're confident with that, because we've worked so hard on the masking, if you add too much blur, then you're going to go ahead and ruin the masking job that we just did. But if I add just a little bit, it should be okay. And then we can adjust the opacity of this layer and turn it down just a touch. But I can go ahead and turn it up as well. But now I'm going to show you how to add some more detail into this photo or into the mist, into the actual mist. Let's zoom out and look at the whole thing here. Okay, this is looking pretty good. And we can see this is the original that we had before when we started, and this is after. Okay? All right. And I could probably, looks like we have some splashes over there in the background. So I can select this eraser tool, make a layer mask, and erase some of this away in the back there. Okay. Okay.